See, I don't think I'll ever get over the fact that the comfort or familiarity of our environment usually tends to make us locals less and less explorative of the special things and perhaps even the special places that we may have until someone else comes to show them to us. And the thing is, it's like that everywhere in the world. It's not just Ghana. Even people who have lived all their lives in this Accra, this very city Accra, some of them have never been to parts which aren't so far from them. They live in one space and that's where they've been all their lives. I guess it makes sense to some extent, but sometimes I wonder, I wonder why we don't self-hype and sell what's within our cities and country, you know, where most of the gems that we come to like are most likely not discovered by other people, but they are made um, attractive and they're recommended by other people. And then it becomes a thing. It's, it's bothersome to me. I guess culturally, we've never really looked at travel as leisure for the sake of it. It's more with a purpose. We travel because we have to. So on that note, I am deciding here on this channel to start a new series and it's going to be sharing some of the places that are our favorite places that we visited and still do visit when we can. So this is a new series I'm going to be introducing on the channel. And because we really can't be traveling so much at will, I'm going to start with, or I'm going to start small by sharing some of the cool places or hidden hangouts that we love in the city of Accra. So technically, these are not so hidden because, I mean, other people know it. But if this is your first time hearing of some of these places that I'm going to be mentioning, then I hope you do check them out and explore your city even more. Now, this one came about because, as usual, we were tired of staying indoors due to the quarantine and we needed a change of scenery. So we decided to find something else or someplace else to hang out, just like we did with the Kokrobite garden trip, which you guys really, really loved. And as usual, it was Elaine who introduced me to the place. So yes, today on the vlog, let's go to Thea. We started there um, a bit over a year ago and um, it came about uh, basically my husband and I and my two kids, yeah. my two kids were avid travelers so everywhere we used to travel we used to because now with covid we're not traveling this summer everywhere we traveled the first thing we do is is go to we're foodies so the best food places and not like the michelin we used to go to the michelin star but like the really um, authentic food so um, I think all of us realize the connection between food and culture, and that's something that we wanted to, uh, to reflect. So it was a dream of ours. We didn't think we'd do it in our 40s, um, but we did. We don't come from the hospitality industry, so this is a shout out to anyone who has a dream. You don't have to be trained in it, but you have to have a passion for it. Yeah. Um, I grew up in Ghana, so I'm also Ghanaian, and I, and I, when I moved back to Ghana in 2011, I felt that there was something missing. I missed the authentic Ghana. So that's when we started um, doing recipes at home, um, and also hunting down the things that we used to eat and you don't find very easily. So we have one of our signature baked items is a pebbles cake which was my childhood uh, dessert, pebbles. They're M&Ms, but really big jawbreaker m &Ms. Yeah, I know pebbles <laughs> with granite in exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we crushed those and put them on a chocolate cake with Ghana made chocolate. And every day is an exploration of that, of, of nostalgia, of Ghanaian culture, of, of eating local and fresh. And I think it, before COVID, things were maybe not as understood but now, when people walk in, they understand it. They understand the connection to nature, they understand the connection to food, and they understand the connection to eat fresh. And I think that's what maybe has made us a bit different. And hoping that business will pick up again, because you know, all small businesses have suffered and will continue to suffer in this period, so, yeah.
It's actually a co-working hub as well. Okay. My husband and I don't have offices. This is our office. So our office is in the garden, our office is in the inside rooms. We also have two full kitchens. The kitchen concept came about because also of our travels. And I think it's become very popular everywhere for people to explore cooking and culinary arts. They've become fashionable again um, because of the connection to food culture. So we've done a few of those. So we decided to open up two rooms that are kitchens for chefs and amateur chefs and foodies like us to just show the, off their talents and explore food. And where we have one chef next week who's doing baking and she has, has she's fully booked because people know and understand what food therapy is and, and, and she found herself in that. So we're hoping we can attract a lot more people who are just love food. And we also sell cookbooks and, uh, and books by African-American authors and Ghanaian authors. A lot of them are our friends. Um, we're hoping to do book signings soon. Um, but you know, now that things are happening the way they are, we have to be a bit cautious about not gathering too many people at the same time. Uh, we also do uh, showcasing of uh, uh, food entrepreneurs. We've actually extended into um, home accessories as well, but all locally made, all very authentic um, by very talented Ghanaians. We have a coffee uh, plantation owner and he's also was a banker. All these people who have come from different backgrounds just like us um, and have a passion for something and they want and they just want to be happy in their life and I think that's maybe what people see when they come here. They see a place where you can just be yourself and and work and maybe dream a bit. Yeah. So if you like this video, I think you should just give it a thumbs up right now and subscribe to my channel. My name is Kwame. I'm a documentary filmmaker and voiceover artist based in Accra, Ghana. And I'm happy that you're here on my channel. It's my attempt to make sense of life and human experience. So welcome to the party and subscribe, subscribe, hit the bell button so that you get notified when I post a new video. And I'll catch you again on the next one. In the meantime... Adios. Peace.